Hello everyone, I'm Bishy, and tonight we are playing more Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth, more Yakuza on this lovely Tuesday. Uh, welcome in everyone, welcome in Wolf, who was first in the epic bitch of the day. Welcome in Shiny and Arkham and Peace Man. I know Ruvo is somewhere out there in the darkness <laughs> watching. Let's get over here. And speaking of Don Doko, that's where we left off. Um, so last week, uh, we're in chapter seven, by the way. Last week, I think uh, I unlocked the online thing. We got to three star rank and unlocked online. Um, I don't know if I'm necessarily gonna do the online like right now. We could do some Don Doko in general. I kind of feel like I want to go to the main island and maybe do sub stories. That's kind of what my heart is telling me. But we could come back and do Don Doko later on in the stream. Let me just check if any of this stuff is done. Not quite. Okay. Then let's get out of here. Sub stories sound good. Yeah. I think that'd be fun. We've. We still have a few left to do, and even after I'm done with all the ones available, there'll still be a lot more later as I get through the story, so. Let me just make sure I get all my stuff off the island. All my items and stuff, and then we'll go. How many sub stories do we have available? I think three or four. Which could take up a good chunk of stream, depending on how long they take. But uh, if we have time left over, we could come back to Don Doko and maybe look at other people's islands. I do want to get my rank up so I can get a Kiryu avatar. That's my biggest thing. Which, saying that out loud makes me just want to do it right now because I'm already at the island. But I think we'll leave it for a later part of the stream. It's fine. I need that Kiryu. Like, I need air, you know? Oh, he's never done that before! <laughs> okay! Ichiban's doing parkour. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, wait, what did you do? I missed it. Oh, I don't even know what that was talking about. I'm sorry. Let me know. You know, Don Doko is messing around with stuff and threw some stuff down. I do have a visible island now that'll exist for a while because I'm not done with the finale. Okay. Just go ahead and tell me the terms to look up. I mean, should I just look for your island now while you're here? Because I don't know if you'll still be able to be here, like, later on when I come back. I could try to look for it real quick. If you have some key terms I could use to find it. Yeah, it's three or four sub-stories. I remember. Lost Judgment Stair Roll. Oh, oh, thank you, Zoe. There you go. I'll be uploading the compilation probably on Friday. Just gotta move some videos around. Let me actually write that down. What do you think, DNC? Should I visit your island or should we just get going to the sub stories? Let me know. Just let me know. I don't mind either way. Whoops. <laughs> I didn't mean to go back. I guess we're going to your island. <laughs> Yeah, just let me know the, the terms. I can look it up real quick. Yeah, go to someone else's. I'm already here. How will I find you? We'll go by recently updated, but I want to get the tags first. Also, I... Ahead of time, apologize for any weird names of stuff you see. I can't control that. Okay, I know for sure I said it to- I would go for Dyke. Okay. Um, that's user. And then we'll go by recently updated. Hopefully that'll work. Now, how will I know it's you? Oh. Nobody. Um. Really? Hmm. Does recently updated have to be within the last hour? Like, <laughs> how else could I find you? Do you have a high trainer rank? Or similar trainer rank? Maybe? 
Hmm. They don't make this easy. Okay, D and can't see that. Okay. Once I find it. <laughs> it's not puffing up with recently updated. They don't make it easy at all. It can't just be everybody with that tag. Why can't it just be everyone with the tag? You know? Why does it have to be by one of these? Hmm. Too many, I guess. So you just let me filter through it. You could have all of these and then be like, no filter. Just use by, just look up by user tag. Yeah. Do you have any idea how we, else we could find you? We have high satisfaction, high online level, but you basically started over. I just did a new upload. Okay. Let me kind of back out. Maybe reset. Okay. Hold on. Yeah, let's, let's back out and then go in again. I'd go for a Daigo. Oh, can I do an island tag too? That might help. Come on. Come on. I gotta look at it. Oh, I gotcha. Beautiful eyes. <laughs> I found you. <laughs> Yay. I found one person's island. <laughs> I gotcha! Alright. Let's do all the missions, okay? And then we'll do sub-stories. Ten rocks, five enemies, five residents, including my battle, five pictures. Well, I'm gonna take one of you, for sure. <laughs> Ashiwagi looks different. Whoops. I just forget I can do this. There we go. I'm just gonna take all the pictures of him. I think that's five. The only time we get to see him in sunlight. There we go. Okay. Let's inspect this island. Oh. Hold on. I was not about to pick every damn one back up. I mean, the fact that you set them all down! Oh my god. Oh, got LaMarche. Stop in for an uh, expensive purse. Little house. Little restaurant. Oh, oh, oh. Thought they were burgers. <laughs> Delicious burgers. On the floor. Just for me. What else we got? been over there yet. I haven't been over there yet either anyway, so. <laughs> Maji burgers. They just have the crest like burned on the bun. What else we got? What else we got here? Oh, I, you know, I do like the fountain. I do like the little fountain park area. Very nice. Got some vending machines here. A box. A dream machine. Does this dispense dreams? That would be nice. Like the like the statue. Just in the main area, lighthouse and hills. Okay. No worries. We got the karaoke, of course. Little food truck. I forget what this is. Kotobuki. Kotobuki. Oh! There's the Kiryo. And the Majima to match, I thought so. Well, I gotta break this rock. 
I gotta break rocks. Oh, Kotobuki drugs, right. I thought Kotobuki sounded familiar. I was like, what is Kotobuki? I do not remember. Oh, there's a rock. Oh, oh. I'm protecting your island. Don't worry, it's safe while I'm around. <laughs> I'll have more rocks. Oh my god, it wants me to do 10. That is a lot of rocks. There's Bantam! <gasps> Got everything. Just slightly jogging around your island. At some restaurants. I like it, I like it. I love the fountain. Um, and the hats are good. <laughs> the hats are nice too! A sea of hats. Jungle boy. You got a farm up here. I should probably do this too. I should probably make a bunch of farms. A bunch of garden plots. I don't know why I don't do that. Okay, I gotta talk to five residents. As well. Let's go down here. Such a small area up here. It's good for all the plants for resource farming. Yeah, it makes sense. I was even thinking when I was making it a little area, I was like, this is not that much room. Oh, I gotta, I gotta beat up some rocks real quick. The rocks are not safe when I'm around either. Okay, got the rocks. Get your bump, please. Okay. I gotta talk to people and fight a battle. I'm scared to fight the battle. <laughs> but we're gonna do it. Let me just go look up here too. I put all my plants in between large buildings away from path. That's smart too. Oh! No, you know what? Keep it. <laughs> I put all the farm stuff at the back and everything in the front was a city where each part was specifically sleazy, pop, etc. Soju, welcome in. How you doing? We're doing a little bit of Don Dokoing. Um, I found a viewer's island finally. DNC and chat there. And so I'm kind of exploring the island. We're about to do a little battle. Let's see how I do. Oh, we're equally matched. Oh god. Nanba's there. Oh, Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, your house! I almost forgot about your house. I'll go in there next. Is this reason I think people only wander within the area where there's lodging? So there be stuff in there for, right? I just put like a tent in every area. Okay. Are you gonna beat me up? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, we're dead. We're dead. I probably... Yeah. Just go for it. Hey, I'm, why am I not as strong? We're the same level. Oh, I get to go again. Okay. Still not gonna do it. Can I do a special? I almost spilled my water again. I don't know why that keeps happening. Okay, so we got one KO. I can do Majima's. Yeah, is it worth it though? 
Well, he might. He's probably gonna KO, so let's just do it. Yeah. Woo! There we go. Yeah. Almost got Nambo. Okay. So grass is going to be weak to a lot of them. I could swap out for dark type. At least we'd have a chance. Okay. We could do that. Oh, but he'd be really strong. Oh, he'd be very strong too. Oh, uh, now I wish I could have swapped him. Um, let's just do that. Get them way down, yeah. Oh, he's gonna be strong. Oh, okay, not too bad, not too bad. Okay. Maybe we should do that. Almost. Man. Ooh. Okay, Majima's almost done. Oh no, I forgot they could do them too. Oh yeah, they're they're dead. Kidio! Kidio! Uh, they're all weak against somebody. But this guy will hit two that he's not weak against. And then those two will probably KO. Bring the win home, Squirm Worm! Okay, we have... We're kind of equally matched, honestly. Well, oh no, but he's really strong against two of me. Ooh, no, I'm probably gonna lose because of that. The type advantage. I have two grasses for some reason. Okay, well we can do... Ooh, we could heal. Interesting. Let's try this. <laughs> no! It's probably gonna miss both. Okay. Damn. Woo! Okay, now we want to heal, but I don't think we have enough. Yeah. Shoot. I could attack again. Yeah, I mean, we're gonna die anyway. Might as well go out kicking. Okay, that's alright. Alright. I know, DNC's team is killing me. Uh, now they're gonna get me this turn. But at least I don't have to win to get the points. It's fine. Man. Almost. I almost got it. The thing is, I just need to get fully leveled up with my Sujimon. And, uh, then I can just kill everybody. I'll be, like, level 50. <laughs> Better luck next time. Oh, uh, well, I got all of my sightseeing missions done. Oh, wait, more residents. Okay, we'll go look at that. Or do that. And, oh, yeah, there was one over there I forgot about. Oh, I've been sick. I'm sorry to hear that, Soju. Uh, but I finished all of my exams and projects and will be graduating college this week. Oh my god! Congratulations! That is very exciting! Congratulations, Soju. That is a huge accomplishment. I hope that you have a wonderful graduation. So the team was put together entirely by just looking at what level 20 Sujimon I had. <laughs> oh. I feel like I just try to get like one of each type that I can. Although I do have two grasses. I wonder if I should switch those out. One of them at least. And uh... I'm not the best Sujimon uh, master it seems like. Okay, two more. Two more residents. 
Rip King. Here lies Kitty, not dead, just in Japan, but it feels like he's gone. <laughs> I gotta find more people. There's another one. Okay, one more. Where could you be hiding? Maybe up there. Oh, yeah, do you count? No. Maybe someone over here? And then we'll look at the house. There we go. I did all the missions for once. Okay, let's look at DNC's home. I like the outside. Very pretty. All right, if there's not a toilet shrine, then uh, I'm leaving. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh no, Vigio! Oh. Oh, the golden statue is nice. They've got the everything against the wall thing going on. <laughs> Which I can't blame you for, I do the same thing. I like the double couches. With the Onomichio and the PC setup. Oh, with the photo on the table. Very nice. Oh, chandelier. Fancy. Full table in the same spot as mine. Check out the second floor. Me when Animal Crossing. Everything against the wall, right? It's such a curse, like, you can't stop. Oh, this is cute. Got a little fountain. We got the arcade cabinet. Ooh, big fancy couch with the TV. Oh, the pictures. The bed. Is that another one of the photos? Oh my god, I can't even see it from over here. <laughs> it's being censored, yeah. With the, with the knife? Hmm. <laughs> Hmm. A giant jacuzzi. Very fancy. Hey, Ron, welcome in. Me making a house as a kid on The Sims with everything against the wall, yeah? <laughs> Such a common experience. Everything against the wall is the only way. Makes the room feel balanced. Imagine people, like, design their homes that way. I know some people's probably do. This house had a bunch of junk before, but I couldn't find half the shit I had in there. there we go. I'm sure it's kind of difficult rebuilding a whole city after having to restart the game. Oh, no worries. Oh, wait. I leave by talking to him. Okay. Thank you for letting me view your island. I'm leaving now. I've seen all I needed to see. Now I think I can afford Kiryu, so thank you for that. I was using you for points all along! <laughs> Where's that, Kiryu? You are mine now. You are mine now. What else can I get? I think I already have, yeah, kill you for Kitty. I have to have all the Kitty related ones. Is there anything Kitty related here? <laughs> Five star luxury resort. First class hospitality. That's something that I thought about. Overflowing with cuteness. Hmm. Here we go with first class hospitality. Beautiful Eyes is pretty tempting as well. I'll probably also get this one. Yes. We've got 
Kitty you love her 69 island. Kitty avatar. Kill you for Kitty you user tag and beautiful eyes comment. I think it's perfect. I think it's perfect now. Right. All right. Let's skedaddle. Let's go do some sub stories. I've been listening to this Don Doko music for like a week now. <laughs> Too many streams. But we'll probably come back later, honestly. It's relaxing and fun. All the sites have been sewn. God damn it. It's like I don't want to leave. I keep forgetting to leave. I have to go to the other beach. My bad. Me, when I decorate in The Sims, everything has to be centered. It's funny because I love playing The Sims, but I feel like I'm so bad at it. <laughs> like, I... I don't feel like I'm very good at decorating things. I feel like I always do, like, the same kind of thing. And what I really suck at, though, I think maybe furniture is fine. I think I can kind of make, like, a nice setup. I'm terrible at building a house from scratch. I just don't... I'm not... I think I'm not architecturally inclined. I don't know. I would have to do a tutorial. But then... If I use a tutorial to make a sim house, I feel like I'm just gonna work on the house. And then when it's done, I'm gonna be bored of the game already and then stop playing. Because that always happens. So I usually like to just do like a pre-made house. And then I just decorate it. And then move in all the sims I created. And then I play it for like a week straight. And then I get bored and stop playing. <laughs> Sims and Minecraft are like those kind of games for me. I play them constantly for weeks or maybe a month and then I burn out and <laughs> I stop playing. Alright, we've got a little thing to go do right there. And then we have some sub stories. There actually might be less than I thought right now. Because that one... I probably could do, I forget how much money he wants, but I do have more money now. Depending on how much it is, I could do it. There's a fight one there, which I could do. I think that's actually it. That was less than I thought. So really, <laughs> that's just one. 3,000, okay, we could definitely do that. That is not that bad. I have like over 50K now, I think. Oh, and the one, the, I'm sorry, I didn't even see it. Okay, so there's three. Okay, good. Yeah, let's do all these sub-stories. I guess let's try to finish the ones I've started and then we can go for this one last. So let me get money. For 3,000. Oh right, yeah, I can check under tasks too. I just thought I would see them all. Let's get these guys out of the way too. Sims is definitely a binge and crash kind of game for me too, yeah. Sims is like that for me, Minecraft is like that for me. Which are both games I love, it's just... I don't know, I, I burn out of playing them. あ、ハワイ。確かにな。今は普通に家族旅行とかで行く感じだけど。ハワイがこがれのチームみたいなのは、もうおっさんの発想なのかもな。そんだけどこにでも手軽に行ける時代になったってことだ。つっても俺はあんなきっかけがなけりゃ来ることもなかったがも。ま、理由はどうあれハワイにいるのは事実だ。満喫するぞ。そうだ。土産屋でペナント買
おかしいなどうしたダチさんいやスマホの地図だとこの辺に行きたかった店があるはずなんだが全然見当たらねえな潰れたんじゃねえのそんなはずはねえちゃんと調べたからな今日も元気に営業中のはずだじゃあスマホのマップがおかしいのかもなんだよ進化してもこういうとこはまだまだ改良の余地はあるんだなさっきから気になってたんだが足立さんスマホ逆に持ってねえああ<笑>改良の余地あんのはあんたのうっかりの方だろう。Another idea I had of something to do is to upgrade weapons. And she is right there. Let me just get my money first. Okay, so 3k. Yeah, and I'll be left with about a thousand. Okay, save. Just in case. But this area, everyone's pretty weak compared to me, so it should be okay. Alright. Let me just pop into Gearworks for a second and see if there's anything worth doing. If there's not, we'll just go. Oh, Here we go. Okay. There's no more home buttons. It could be confusing. But wouldn't all the text be upside down? <laughs> I feel like that's a big giveaway. Oh, pennants are a type of flag. They're the triangle flags you see outside of universities. Oh, okay, okay. See, I, I know what those are, but I never knew they were called that. I would just think they're called flags. <laughs> I guess pennant is like a mini flag. A triangle flag. Eat the worm. I will I will not. But maybe Ichiban might like to. Yo. Yo, Julie-chan. What's up? I just finished eating this worm I found in the garbage. You look stressed. Yeah, never say that to me ever again, please. I'm just doing some work stuff. Hey. Huh. Guess even a genius can hit a wall now and then. Something actually beyond your expertise? <sighs> I could do it if I knew about it, but if I don't know about it, then how can I do it? Huh? Sorry, come again? I never studied or went to school for any of this, just taught myself how little by little. Over time, I could do more than I couldn't. But that still leaves me with gaps in my knowledge. No matter how skilled I am, there are some jobs I just can't figure out because I don't have the right education. <sighs> oh, I understand. But the last thing I want to do is go back to school. I'm not great with people. It didn't work out well before. I have to keep learning, though. I need to know everything there is about engineering and craftsmanship. There are books, but they're expensive. Well, hold on. Does that mean all you need is a little money and you could make even more stuff? Mm -hmm. Um, I guess so. With some technical manuals and equipment, I could probably do a whole lot more, actually. I could definitely improve your simple little weapons. Oh, okay. Okay, so why don't you let me help? Everyone wants my money now that I have some. <laughs> huh? I'll give you the funds. You study up and buy whatever else you need to expand. It's win-win. Win what? No, I don't feel right about that. Listen, your tune-ups on our weapons have saved our asses out there. I wouldn't think twice about investing in your talents. <laughs> what do you say? I won't force you to or anything, just consider it. You're really sure? Ah. Yeah. Don't think of it as a gift. I see how good you are at this stuff and I want to double down. Okay, thanks. That's really interesting of you. I promise, I'll make sure you get more than your money's worth. Great, it's settled then. So, where do we start? Let me think. First, I need a basic lineup of textbooks. Do you think you could cover that? Well, I got that. Sure thing. Work out how much it'll cost, and I'll come see you when I have the money. <laughs> Alright, I'll do that then. Just don't work too hard, old man. <laughs> don't work too hard, old man! Got it. You can now invest in Julie's gear works. This increases its facility rank more efficiently than crafting and upgrading. If you have cash to spare, this could prove a very lucrative use for it. Okay. Uh, well, how much does she want? Only 600? Oh no, she wants 2,000? I could do the first one. I'll just have to go get more money. That's why they put the ATM next to her, huh? 
Yeah. I can at least do that. Thanks so much for everything. I can make so much more now. You should let me make one of your weapons, too. Okay. What's the next one? <laughs> what do you- Yeah, that's- that's gonna have to wait. <laughs> that is gonna have to wait. But hey, we got to rank two. That's pretty cool. So, I don't think I want to craft anything. I mean... Man, I haven't been back here since, uh... I first started playing. I was gonna say, where's the, uh... Football, but I think that's... I don't have it because it's DLC. Yeah. They only have the base jobs. Okay, but we could upgrade. Oh, can I not upgrade the DLC jobs? Interesting. Okay. So DLC jobs, you just have to find it. Oh, the level's not high enough. Oh, 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 okay. So DLC jobs, you have to work a little harder for. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. Okay, then, um, well, he's going to be a cabbie, so I'm not going to bother upgrading what he has on now. And, uh, it's been so long since I've done this. Level 10. So we're not there yet, okay. Did you do all the Allo Happy courses? Yes, I think so. I've got all the jobs. You also just might not have anything that can be upgraded. Though the Hawaii Haunt sells a pretty good linebacker weapon that carries for a while. Okay. Maybe I could grab that. So we gotta get it to level 10. What level is it at? I don't know where it says it. Zero? Is it at level zero, maybe? <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. 150 of this, my god. This is DLC stuff for sure. It will say plus four, for example, if it has. Okay. Yeah, this weapon's very good for Cabby, so. I just upgrade this one. Yes. Keep it for a while. Go so from infinite wealth to uh, limited poverty. Wow. <laughs> oh my god, Evo. Okay, so now it's like a level one. Hi. We have a lot of this. Get it to level 10. And I have many of these. Okay. <laughs> Favorite way to upgrade my tech? Big hammer! Big hammer make big wrench strong. <laughs> Alright, so now we got a level 10. Woo! Got to rank 3. I can make so much more now. You should let me make one of your weapons. Okay, so Cabby. Now I could do a brand on it. Alright, so now I could give it a type of a effect. Stun might be cool. Five hundred. Wow. Well. Inflicting damaging status ailments. Restrictive debuffs. Ooh. Boosts basic attack. Greatly. So this one boosts it. This one greatly boosts it. Increases MP absorption. Magic skills can crit. 
Increases crit by 5%. Boosts crit damage. Boosts crit rate by 20% per ailment. <laughs> Interesting. And then these are more expensive, but I, I do have some money to kind of work with now. Um, man, I don't know what I want to do. For, for Tommy? I know as Cabby, I like to have him use ice attacks. So I could do something ice related, like um, boost the damage of ice attack, since I do it a lot. Or do something wild, like... Uh... Or I could increase the success rate of certain things. That would be cool, too. I think all the elemental brands are good because he has a lot of element damage coverage. Yes. I just focus on ice right now, but... I could also just make it stronger, but I just upgraded it. These ones are interesting, too, like increasing the crit rate, making magic do crit. I might do one of these on Itchy Bonds, maybe? There's so much to choose from, I'm like struggling. Boost the damage of ice. But then I won't get another seal or brand until level 30. So I feel like I need to pick a good one now. I think the ice is gonna be too basic. We should do something that just boosts attack in general or does some kind of like a debuff. But I think when it comes to these ones, it's like you have to do something that is doing that in the first place. Like he has to use a move that is gonna do a damaging status ailment. This is just going to increase the success rate of that happening. And I don't really remember what he has. I could go look real quick. Um, I just know I have ice. Um, I mean, really anybody could have some of these, but. Yeah, scrub down, I think that's it. I think he has, he has some other moves that I'm borrowing from the other jobs. I mean, right now he's the pyro, so he's not, but the, I'm thinking about the cabbie job that he's gonna be eventually when I switch them back, which I might do soon. I don't know. What do y'all think would be worth doing right now? I thought this was kind of cool. You can make magic skills crit. Mm -hmm. uh, my mom made a ramen dish today for the first time. Ooh. That sounds very good. Went from discovering the world of restaurant cooked ramen to making uh, ramen at home. That's awesome. Magic crit is good. I thought so. Because he's going to be using a lot of magic. I'm going to do this one. It's a little expensive. Let's, do it. Let's invest in Tomy. Okay. And then who else? Hero. Let's look at that. So he is going to be using yeah hero's bat so we're not gonna get another brand until 30 increases success rate of inflicting bleed so i wonder if this was a good decision i could replace it um i can't think of anything he does that causes bleed like right now he's a samurai but this is for when he's a hero there are some move sets I might use that have bleed. Like maybe that's why he's been really good at some of those moves, and it's been more effective. But now I'm looking at these ones. I'm like, oh, that's cool. I feel like even just increasing the crit rate might be more worth it. Or doing boosting damage when he crits. Or even this one's kind of cool. Like if they have a lot of status ailments, that increases by 20%. Maybe this one. That would be really cool just to have in the background going on. I'm going to do that one and I'm going to overwrite it. Yeah. I think that's pretty cool. Okay. Um, we also got her. What job does she usually have? I think she's usually a maid. 
I have all these mops. <laughs> so I think it would be very worth it to upgrade one of the mops because she has not gotten any new weapon. And look at that basic damage. 18, 20. What was what was the other ones? 26, 24. Okay, so not that much different. But you. A hundred. <laughs> but it's because it's all those stars. I think the problem is I have to find a better base weapon for for her. Maybe we should upgrade the hero bat to be a little bit. I can't believe. I can't believe Tommy's gonna be hitting that hard. Holy shit. <laughs> He's gonna be the strongest person of my party now because I got that really good weapon. Oh my god. Oh lord. There's a place on the west end that has good mobs. Okay, so maybe we'll go grab something. I want to stick with the hero's bat, unless there's something better I could go pick up, but I've already invested 500 in this thing. I think I just need to increase the... the level, make it stronger, which I could just put a bunch into it right now. Let's see, let's maybe get to level 30. Might want to buy better base with... Yeah, especially for the mop, I will. I think I want this one to be Ichiban's bat, though. It's like his... His bat, you know? In the end, the hero's bat is the best. That's what I've heard even from the seven, even from the seventh game. Okay, let's do that. Make the poop bat, excuse me? Sorry, is there a bat made of poop? Now you got me curious. True legendary hero's bat. Oh my god. Oh, there is a poop bat! <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's extraordinary aura. Keeps pretty much anyone from drawing near. Yeah, it's just the aura. That's, that's right. Oh my god. I just need a metal bat and uh, like 80 more poops. And a lot of money. I want to make this just to make it. <laughs> I'm not going to use it. A yeah, golden turd bat. Oh my god. I'm going to write this down. I'm going to make it at some point. I want to make it at some point when I have money to spare. The stats are almost identical to legendary bats. So you can really just pick whichever one you want. Like, do I want a poop bat or do I want, like, a cool bat? <laughs> I'm surprised the DLC doesn't give you enough poop. What's the point? <laughs> What's the point of DLC if I can't have the ultimate guest up from the beginning of the game? Oh my god, look at all those stars. I could actually make this. because of DLC. I could make this one. I just need a lot of money. <laughs> Interesting. But I could actually come back and make the true hero bat. I'm gonna write down how much it is and I'll come back later. Good night, Ruvo. Oh, and then the rank has to be four. Okay. Let me write that down too. I mean, that's not gonna be for a while. I, I don't have enough money. Supernova. I also need the... For this one, I would need the Metal Bat. I'd have to go and find it. I'll worry about it later, though. This one I could make with the money and the rank. Interesting. What about Housekeeper? What can I make for her? Maybe I could just make something that's better. So this would be a better version of what she has right now. Would be simple, cheap, and she'd have ice type attack. But I kind of want to get her something like up here. So I have to find these base weapons. Mop of the Madonna. Hmm. This one I can also make. Oh no, I don't have the housekeeper's mop. Okay, maybe I'll just go get that other base one, but I could also make this. But let me go compare it, I guess. Uh, 
let me make some notes here. Uh, in a notebook. So this one is 81. Has 28, 31 attack. Okay, we'll compare it to the other one I can buy. And then I, the other one I could buy could My also be upgraded as well. I didn't even look at Adachi. Hold on. I think Adachi also has a really good weapon right now. A detective. Well, it's not that amazing. Is this crafting or... Yeah, yeah. Is this the one he got from the attack? Yeah, yeah. Now, the thing is, I don't know if I'm going to make him the detective job. I don't know what I'm going to stick him with. I might keep him as the football player just for fun. I'm not sure. Okay, let's go to the area with the mop. I'll get that or see what I like about it. And then uh, we can do sub stories after that. So let's see what shop that would be. Is this going to be in the mall, maybe? <laughs> for Adachi, there's a Smexy shop near the club for detective weapons. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't know if I want him to be a detective. I'm really not sure, but I can see what it is. On the very west end. Okay, thank you. I like your... There are weapons there. I don't see a mop, but they could be there. Oh, oh, here we go, here we go. Ooh. Okay, let's see. Yeah. It's all about the cleaning supplies. From like a prayer to like a track. <laughs> it's a Madonna branded mop. Ooh. You got into housekeeping supplies. Let's see what you got. Welcome. All right. I'd have to go get more money if I want something. So I know this one can be upgraded. Oh, all of these pretty much. I know this one was able to be upgraded. So what I could afford for her, I could get the rake. <laughs> that would be pretty funny. Let's look at all these. Like a fancy mop, yeah. Used for cleaning up after royalty. A vacuum. A whisk. A giant whisk. A giant food grater and a spatula. <laughs> oh my god, I want all of these. <laughs> oh man. Hey, I mean, the rake and the whisk are the same price. I might as well get the whisk. A utensil, a utensil for beating cream to within an inch of its life. Oh, it's for a different job. Oh. Hmm. A different job. You mean there's more? You know that does make sense. Why would a why would a maid have a spatula and a whisk? Hmm. Well, we're gonna we're gonna think about that later. Okay. In that case, <laughs> I'm learning things. In that case, I'd probably get the rake. <laughs> beating, beating the cream. Yup. <laughs> oh god. I I could get her this weapon. A lot of money, but it'd probably be worth it. Her weapon right now is not that great. Ichiban's also needs to be upgraded, of course. Hmm. Hey, Alfred, welcome. I think usually the weapon that costs the most is the same price as the best weapon that you can craft. I learned that when I was dying while farming crafting items and just bought weapons for placeholders. Ah. Uh... Hmm. So you can just craft these things and it's going to be about the same money. I could probably make some of these. I don't remember. Okay, well, anyway, so... The rake is 5,076. Okay. Thank you very much. And then... 
there's a storm. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I guess let's go there! Go look at the detective weapons. And welcome in, Endo. Okay, crafted ones tend to have special attack effects. Okay, so it's gonna be better to craft them if I can help it. You can craft better versions of weapons you can buy, but buying is more convenient, right? That makes sense. Then I will think about this a little more. It's turning into a, a weapons crafting stream, but I swear I'm just doing this for a little bit and then we'll do something else. I mean, same for this. Oh, I wonder if I could invite them now. We've been around here long enough. Let's figure out where to travel next. We've been all over the world already. Is there some place that would make for a satisfying trip at this point? Why don't you ladies give Don Doko Island a chance? Kind men are more my type, though. Oh no, he's still not nice. Damn it. He probably has to be like maxed out kindness. <laughs> みてみて、一番。この虫すごい溶けついてる。この草料何に使うんだろう。わいたそう。あ、ろうそくだ。めちゃくちゃ満喫してる。まあ、武器に使えそうなものは多そうだし。They that's, that's why we're here for weapons. Nothing else. Oh lord. The jumbo sausage. <laughs> there is a thorny whip. Oh, that's for a different job. A different job. <gasps> Interesting. Interesting. Okay, so detective. This would be the best one for him. A lot of money, though. Attacks and weapon kill. Weapon skills may instantly KO. Oh wow. Hey. Okay. So if he were to stay a detective. Interesting. Health ring makes a return. Yeah, I was thinking about that. Now the banter's great. We're looking for weapons to help free our enemies. Mm-hmm. Thank you. I'm leaving now. Yeah, you can gift. The red candle seems luxurious and only costs $10. Oh my god. She did talk about the candle. Oh, thanks! Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, let's fly back over here. Need to grab more money. I also need 3k for the other guy. Okay, let me just see how much this is going to be before I grab money. Oh! Ooh. Hitting the books. Oh! Hey, old man! This material is fascinating. Thank you again for covering the cost. Hands-on experience is one thing, but acquiring technical knowledge and understanding theory is vital. I'm glad you're happy. Can't wait to see what new stuff you come up with. Hmm. It still doesn't sit well with me, you know. I wish there was something more I could do for you. <laughs> Don't sweat it. Julie Chan, you're already doing plenty. Anyway, I won't keep you from your studies. Good luck. <laughs> Thanks. Oi. Oh, I forgot that they know each other. You two seem to be having fun. Ew. Oh, hey, bartender. His name's just Bartender. I rarely see Julie so comfortable with someone else. In fact, this may be a first. So what? Nothing. It's nice to see you talk to something other than a socket wrench. Don't make it sound like I'm some kind of freak. I only mean that you're normally wary of opening up to people. Perhaps you've taken a liking to Casca. <gasps> Whoa! I am not hearing this. Hmm. Be careful. This girl's no pushover. You're wading into dangerous waters with her. <laughs> huh? Get out! Leave before I drill your head a new hole. See what I mean? I'll be going. I prefer my head as it is. Mm hmm. He's unbelievable. Don't listen to anything he says. He just likes getting a rise out of people. <laughs> no problem. Mm -hmm. Hey, 
Uh, craft. Okay, let me see. So, let's think about housekeeper first. So... Yeah, so the thing is that if I want to make this one, I have to buy that rake. And then upgrading it to the controlled burn one is another 2,500. So really, it's going to be 7,500 total to make this one. Which I could just buy the base one first and get a little upgrade there. And then upgrade it to this later when I have more many. I have is a flooring mop. Hmm. Yeah, that's all I'm missing. And then I don't have that. I don't have that. I can do that now, right? Yes. So technically, I could spend all the money and, and make her pretty strong. And poor Ichiban is still going to be pretty weak with his. But I am aiming for this one. I just need a lot of money. As soon as I have a money maker, I can, I can do that, which is going to be the dungeons. But I can't get the dungeons to level 30-something, so I got to work with what I have right now. Never mind. He he's at level 80 now with attack. That's pretty good. I guess because I got to level 30, right? And then he has another brand I could do. I keep forgetting what I'm doing. Okay, here we go. So let's do a second brand for him. Um, and then I'll think about going to buy the rake so I can upgrade it. And then she would be on level with everyone. And then I have to think about Adachi, trying to get him to kind of like level 80 attack would be really good. Some of these battles take a while, especially when I'm doing plot and they're like equally leveled with me. It would help a lot to have a stronger weapon, so. What do I want to do? I gotta get more money either way. Right now he has this one. Oh my goodness. Ume, thank you so much for resubscribing for three months. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Thank you so very much. Let me get a star for you. You get a blue one today. Enjoy your sub. Here is your star. Let's put that in the jar. There we go. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Welcome in. I'm working on weapon upgrading and crafting right now, and I'm trying to think of a hundred things at once. I need to get more money out of the ATM, man. Let me catch up with chat for a second. Mm -hmm. uh, speaking of rings, there are two in the game that I feel some may have missed if they weren't looking at the bridal shop. One that I found to be interesting when it comes to its abilities, really. I might have to visit that since we're doing weapon stuff anyway. It's the rings I'm thinking of. I may not, may or may not have zeroed in on them as soon as I saw them. Oh boy. They're unassuming unless you look at what they do when equipped. Okay. I don't even know if I've been to the bridal shop yet. I like the seal that buffs chances for stat debuffs on the bat because Itchy has the merciless melee that can defend some attack. You have a good point. That is a good one. Okay. Yeah, I was trying to think, like, who has a debuff ability that would be good for me to use that seal on it or brand? Okay, where is that? Increases the rate of debuffs. Okay, so I need at least 500. Let me just take out, like, a bunch of money. BRB, Julie. I need more money. What you looking at? They, they knew what they were doing when they put the ATM right here. <laughs> Okay, so how much do I have? Oh, so I don't have 50k. I had 100. I had 100k. Okay. 
Good to know. So I, I can I can spend a little bit. I can spend a little bit. Um, yeah. So the rake is going to be five thousand. But it's really going to be seventy two hundred total. So really, I need. Let's take out ten. And then I'll probably just have to get more when I'm going to do the Roomba thing. What you looking? Chaos behind Okay. First of all, let's do the brand on you. And let's grab the debuff, which I think was blue. Was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it was purple. Okay. Increase the success rate of debuffs. Yes. There we go. Now I need to go get... The mop. Let's go grab that. Oh my god. Yes. Five. And then I'll go ahead and upgrade it because that'll push it up to 80 attack. Which is kind of what I'm aiming for since Ichiban is at about 80. Omi is at like a hundred something now because I upgraded his weapon. I probably didn't even need to. They're gonna be so strong now. Welcome. Okay, but you know what? We need it. Uh, okay, so get that for her. I don't know if I can craft the much. rake itself later, but it doesn't look like I can right now. And I can upgrade it right now, so I might as well. So where was she up here? And then for Adachi. There's supposed to be a good football related weapon somewhere, right? I think someone mentioned that. But I think it's uh you buy it from the dungeons. I'll have to see if I have enough for that. The mall. I think someone said it was at the dungeon. Okay, we are crafting Housekeeper. This one. And she'll have fire type moves, which is cool. Should be about 88 damage. Yeah, sounds good. And we have 15 of the lava geodes from the DLC. So I think I'm only able to do this because of DLC, but you know what? The strongest is at the dungeon. I think the more frugal are at the mall. Okay. I do have money now. I've got money to burn, but depends on how much it is. There we go. So it bumped it up by like 10 attack. Almost like 20 something. Maybe on the other one. Okay. Looks good. So I won't do anything else to it. I won't I won't upgrade it or anything. We'll just leave it like that. That's very good right now. And then um I really should just go through all of these and just look at all the silly weapons there are, you know? Under God. <laughs> Love at first sight. Cool. Wow, look at this. Royal Prima Choker. Spicy jumbo sausage. Oh, he can have an electric type. And I think it silences? Oh yeah, may silence. That's pretty cool. Yeah, what did it say? Oh, a choker worn by a legendary ballerina who died an untimely death at a young age. Jesus Christ. Oh, that was like a charm boosting one. Oh my god. Jesus! A holy bludgeon forged on a sacred mountain. <laughs> Perfect guards damage the enemy that attacks you. That's actually really cool. Oh, that's cool. I feel like the ultimate weapons for everybody are probably really cool to have. Like, especially towards the end of the game. Oh, man. Just have to have a lot of money. Scepter of Oblivion. <laughs> Soft serve ice cream. Oh my god. All of the ultimate weapons look so cool. <laughs> like, what does it say? Yeah, a mythical surfboard rumored to have been made by the god of the seas. I like how these are all axes. Oh my god. 
Dead Souls Axe. Nightstone Nunchaku. Dead Souls. Dead Souls Metro. <laughs> Is that dynamite? Oh my god. Megalodon Sword. Moonflower. Demon Slayer. Legend has it the sword sharpens itself when bathed in fresh blood. A pineapple. Oh my god. And of course, yeah, the mop of the Madonna. Fit for cleaning the floors of heaven. Oh my god, look at the butterflies. I need this one. She's not even gonna be this one, though. I'm, I'm probably not gonna make her Kunoichi long-term. Cursed Dagger of Glorious Death. <sighs> Dead Souls. Okay. Oh my god, yeah, next investment, 200. No way. Alright, what was I gonna do again? I forgot. Um... We're gonna look at the football weapons, which I think one's at the dungeon. We can look at that first, and then... Oh, you know what? Let me grab enough money for the substory, too. Are you looking at? So the substory is about 3k, so let's take out another two. So and now we have 1200 to play with, which probably won't be enough to buy the football player weapon, but you know what? You? It's fine. I just want to look. I'll just write it down and get it later. <laughs> and now it's yours, Chitose. Oh, and I want to go to the bridal shop. Okay. What do you got for me, Mitchie? Let's see. I have 1400. Oh yeah, here we go. Linebacker's wristband. 100 damage. It is 3,000 of these. So if I grind it in the dungeon for a little bit, I could probably get this. Um, uh, That's gonna take a minute. If I make him a detective, though, he can be one... He can have a better weapon right away. I can also buy the sonic sounds. The sonic music. I'll get this one. Just for fun, I'll get a Sonic one. We got the statues already. I think I was saving up for this one and I forgot. Adachi doesn't need it, just a rest. No time for the old man. Yeah, we'll probably just leave this be. But I will take note of it. So we've got a, a football weapon. The dungeon. Like a hundred attack. Okay. All I needed to know. It's Just raining! It's raining! Oh. Oh. God damn it! <laughs> I was gonna do it! Stopped raining. Whatever. Ruined my joke. The weather ruined my joke. Okay. I think we're ready to do sub stories, huh? Let me just make sure everyone... I mean, we're not even those jobs right now. We're not going to use those weapons at the moment. But when we do plot, I will switch back. Speaking of jobs, let's see. <laughs> I forgot a touch. He's naked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was good. Okay, so samurai. I was just seeing how far we could get with that. Um, we've got a few more moves coming up. I really want to get one of these so badly. And I was gonna ignore Aquanaut. We could probably stay samurai. I mean, is there anything worth getting to? 15. 
That would be in... Two more levels. Oh, might inflict bleed. Crit if the prompt is successful. I probably won't be using that too much, though. What about hero? What am I close to? Oh, boost attack. I probably want to get this one. Maybe we should switch back to hero. I just know for the main story, I'm probably going to be hero all the time. So that's why I'm trying to use like the side stuff to upgrade this thing. So maybe... I feel like Ichiban is going to be the one to get the samurai Iwami move. Tose. It's going to be probably housekeeper for most of the playthrough. I probably want to make her upgrade the Kunoichi. I mean, it's level level 14 is pretty good for Aeris. Is there anything I'm missing that I want? Greatly reduces agility. I guess. Damage is an enemy with a chance to lower their attack. We we'll probably switch out to something else. You see, I'm so conflicted. I never know what to do. I'm like, <laughs> maybe we'll just stick with what we're at right now, so I don't have to think about it. And then if we do plot, uh, I'll switch back to the main jobs and those will get upgraded when I do the story. I just have to think about it that way. Okay. Anyways. Let's see if this guy actually asks for 3,000. <laughs> Let's see if that is true, if I have enough money. Anyway. I'm sorry that was a lot. I just want to be prepared, you know? I want to have good weapons for everybody. I've been meaning to look at the weapons for a long time. And I think we're at a point where I need better weapons. If I hope to get back to the story and not get my... my... ass kicked. <laughs> Basically. Now I feel like I could probably take on the level 32 people with these weapons, but they will hit me very, very hard. My defense didn't go up, so... Yeah, um, he actually wants three million. <laughs> the thing is, I could believe that. I gotta pick up these herbs because there's uh, good weapons I can make. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm gonna kill you! Yeah, three thousand dollars. He's like, would you like to help me towards my goal? I'm the only one that's going to give you any money for this. Just take it. Just take it. Here you go. Oh, -ho! that's it. We've reached the $3,000 target. I only got there, huh? That took some work. Indeed. And I suppose it's time to do my part, Lord Shrub. Remember this day, because tomorrow the future begins. Oh. Cool. Looking forward to the new and improved Sojimaru. Leave it to me. I'll contact you when development is complete. Farewell for now. I wonder what kind of vacuum cleaner it's going to be next. Guess I'll wait to hear from the professor. Okay, let's see if we can just make that pop back up. I could go do another substory while I'm waiting. However, I feel like by the time I get over to the other substory, he's going to pop up. Or maybe he'll text me. What you looking at? What you looking at? There it is. I knew it. Lord Shrub, thanks to you, I was able to complete the updates to Sojimaru. Please come to her debut at Harper Park. We'll be waiting. Okay, let's do it. Professor says he's at Harper Park with the new Sojimaru. I should go check it out. Okay. Oh, they're right next to each other. It was on the way. Okay. Before we go check out what's going on with the giant evil Roomba, I am going to take a quick five minute break. Be back very soon. Um, and when we return, we'll complete the sub story and we will do probably the other two sub stories that are left. And if we have time, we'll do maybe some Dom Doko or something. I don't know. Uh, but either way, feel free to grab a snack or a drink while I'm gone. BRB. All 
All right. We're back with more Yakuza. Let's get back to that sub story. Oh boy. Hold on. Moments before disaster. <laughs> I just feel like nothing bad is about to happen. <sighs> Ichibon starts blogging like, Hey guys, Ichibon here. Uh, we're about to go and see what this new Roomba is all about. Come check it out. We got the whole gang with us this time. Whoa, Doc, is that Soji Maru? <laughs> right you are. Fresh out of the lab, the Soji Maru Intelligence Model. Doesn't look much different from before, but it's what's under the hood, you said, right? Astutely recalled! The chassis may be similar, but her internals are totally revamped. In the simplest terms, she's learned how to think. Hey. How is that possible? As they say, seeing is believing. Allow me to demonstrate. Here, two servings of shave ice. Looks tasty. Now, let's place them on the ground. Okay. Notice that Sochimaru doesn't respond. That's because they're still food, not trash. Hmm. However, if I were to consume one of them... <laughs> really quickly! Hey. Yep. Yeah. Brain freeze! Brain freeze! Did he rehearse this? What a dumb gag. Whew! Now then, when I place the empty cup back... Trash detected! Trash detected! And then she left the normal one alone. Oh, oh wow. She can actually tell the difference. Didn't even touch the uneaten one! <laughs> That man just, like, ran into oblivion towards me. <laughs> Didn't even touch the other one. <laughs> Astonishing, isn't it? Nah. Would she do that for other stuff? Like, would she consider a broken surfboard trash? Theoretically, yes. Huh? Theoretically. Right now, Soji Maru is something like a newborn. Her AI will constantly evolve over time fashionable term for it is deep learning. Uh, huh. I don't really follow, but it seems like you're saying she'll get better at knowing what's trash or not? That's exactly it. Which leads me to another request. Oh. Would you be willing to help me teach Sojimaru to classify trash more intelligently? Intelligently classify trash? How do we do that? Just show her a picture of you! <laughs> For instance, here's a discarded bento. Obviously, eating it would make you sick. You would certainly call that trash, yes? He's eaten those before. Now, by the same token, here's a nice watch. Even abandoned, it's perfectly usable. Not at all trash. Simple, eh? I must admit, my eyes aren't what they used to be. At my age, it's difficult to quickly tell trash from non-trash. What? Guess I won't ask why he would work on a vacuum cleaner, of all things, then. Well, I got that. I think I got you. You show me stuff, I say whether it's trash or not, and Sojimaru listens? Precisely so. But Sojimaru must learn to be fast, so you'll have to model split-second assessments for her. No one wants a ponderous vacuum. Hard to believe my speed would matter, but if you say so. I'm eager to begin the process. Are you ready to go? I will be in a second. The last thing you want is for a giant killer Roomba to think! She's gonna be like, I think I'm gonna kill you! <laughs> Imagine going for a jog and you just unrender. Oh lord. Oh. Yeah, let's do it. Excellent! Sojimaru, engage learning mode. And begin. You gotta be quick. Okay, decide quickly if the displayed item is trash or not. You'll have three seconds to make an assessment. Be fast and accurate in order to properly educate Sochimaru. Okay, so to help Sochimaru learn, I've got to sort the trash from the non-trash. Trash. 
Is this trash? Trash. Is this trash? Not trash. Is this trash? Trash. Is this trash? No. Is this trash? Gold is trash, yes. <laughs> That's not trash. That is trash. That I think is trash. Not trash for sure. Ooh, how was that? Ichiban does captures, yeah. Uh, select all the trash in this image <laughs> to prove you're not an AI. Very, very good. That should be plenty of usable data. Input accepted. Input accepted. Beginning interpretation. Toji Mata will need a bit of time to update. Come back a little later, though, and she'll be practically reborn. Does she learn in her sleep or something? All right. I'll give her some time. Okay. Let's head over here. And she's back. <laughs> that didn't take long. A friend in trouble? That's too bad. Knock it off with the <gasps> That's a glitch, huh? That's a glitch. Oh no, he's in the manhole. He's in the manhole. I always think something's a glitch. Knock it off oh, I'm curious. Yeah, it's the manhole. I'm sorry. Hmm, I have a lot of money on me. Let me save. I'm curious. He shouldn't be too strong. Oh yeah, he looks like the sandcastle guys. Sewer rat! Let's see. Are you weak to anything? Oh, yes. Oh, he's only level 17. <laughs> it's a manhole. Yep. Oh, we got poop! We got poop from that! Oh, okay, let's try to get him. Let's do. I don't need him super bad. You can do common. I thought it'd be very good. Okay. This is the part where I suck. If I was on PC, well, I am on PC, but if I was using keyboard, it'd be even better. I'm not gonna get him. Yeah. I just can't. I can't button mash like I used to. Maybe for that, I should just switch to the keyboard real quick. Just. <laughs> I feel like the keyboard, I'd do be better at that. Oh, whatever. <sighs> All right. Lord Shrub, you're just in time. Soji Maru has rebooted and her AI has become far more advanced. Please, take a look. Uh, what am I looking for? This Soji Maru unit has undergone dramatic improvement. Her current calibration is version 2.1. Well, she sounds fancier, at least. Ah, uh, now, behold, her true potential. Look there! Huh? Whenever Ichiban says Han like that, he sounds like that meme sound of like the Huh? Huh? <laughs> it sounds just like... We shall have Sojimaru canvas this entire area and only vacuum the trash, leaving everything else as is. Oh. That'd be something, but there's a lot to suck up, isn't there? Will it all fit? How is it gonna fit? Not at all. But that's the beauty of the incinerator function, now fully up and running. Oh yeah, I remember you mentioning that. It'll burn up the trash as she goes, huh? Right you are. Now, Sojimaru, begin cleaning mode. That's what she said. <laughs> Initializing sensors. Cleaning mode activated. Analyzing nearby clutter. Ascertaining trash. Okay. Whoa. 
that's amazing. She really knows exactly what's trash and what's not. It's perfect. I knew she could do it. Please, don't hold back, Lord Shrub. Let loose your praise. Consider this. Sojimaru has not even reached her full potential. Her efficiency will increase the more she learns. She can still get smarter? Wow, this AI stuff is really something. So, what happens after she's done vacuuming? Once Sojimaru no longer detects any trash in the vicinity, she'll return. I expect her back any moment. Nah. Um, she stalled or something? Mm. Huh, that seems odd. Hello? Come on home, dear. Crash detected. Crash detected. Huh? You're gonna clean up the whole island. <gasps> what? I knew we couldn't trust her. I knew we couldn't trust the AI. I mean, they are trash, but... They're gonna get incinerated. そんな。ジンタラしてねえでさっさと払えよ、このだけ。ゴミ発見。ゴミ発見。え?なんだこのバケモン。なんと。<笑><笑><笑> どういうことじゃ。あ。What's wrong with him? What is balls? That's that literally kid Oh my god. Well... I mean, I, I don't like him, but I don't think you should die! Yeah, buddy. I mean, I don't like him, but I don't think you should die! I mean, I don't like him, but You didn't foresee this. At all. Oh, you just What's wrong with her? Oh. Uh。あら、ありがとう。あ。あいつ吸い込むどころか美人の姉ちゃんに媚び打って終わったぞ。Taking up to her. <laughs> Because she's not trash. Societal trash. Wow. That's uh... not great. What? Oh my god. 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 ともかく、この Again? Um, why would you just kick it? I'm surprised you're not dead. 
今度は一体何が起こったんだい<笑> He didn't even flinch. Do you know, Tolikon de Caramoyas Yorimo Sakini Moyaste Caratolikon de Honga, Corizayo, Shinkestaeva, and I Sayojana. Majimini Punsek is there by Tayo. Corizia Tatano, she of it. He has an incinerator. She's not gonna let you get it. <laughs> I don't even feel bad for him. <laughs> Oh God. Let's see if it beats me up again. I don't even have my best weapons and jobs on right now. Sojimoto version 2.1. How strong are you? I'm scared. It's equally leveled with me. Okay. Oh Lord! So strong though. Okay. Okay. This shouldn't be too bad. Um, one hour later. <laughs> uh, okay, are you weak to anything that I have? She's weak to electricity, that makes sense. She is a robot. Oh, she's weak to fire? Oh, some of them are. Oh, they all have different weaknesses. Okay, interesting. Then yeah, we'll probably do that. Hey, Artemis, welcome in. Let me, uh, catch up with chat here for a second. Hold on. At least the song is nice. I think I said that last time, and then by the time I was done with the battle, I was like, I never want to hear this song again. <laughs> you ever just get vaguely hit on by a giant Roomba? Why is there a giant Roomba? Um, why, why wouldn't there be a giant Roomba? This is something that was in the last game, and they brought it back for this one. It is literally a giant Roomba. A doctor is trying to make a... Not a doctor, a professor is trying to make a giant Roomba to clean up the city. But it never goes quite right. There are like five NPCs in this game who have their own plot lines but have the small detail that they're weird creeps. Yeah, there's just a lot of creeps out there, I guess. They do have the Sujimon thing, too. I see we're back in hell, possibly. We'll have to see. He was trying to perfect guard the fire, that's why he didn't flinch. Well, he didn't do a good job. But again, he didn't die. Maybe he did do perfect guard. The Japanese dub is halfway there, but the English dub has a great title drop, and it's really fun. Mm. Anyone bopping along to the theme? I see you didn't spend much time in this fight. Yeah, this fight is traumatized. Haruka? Yeah. <laughs> if you don't look too close, Okay. Hit, hit pop idol of the 2010s? That didn't hurt very badly. I'm scared. So, this one's weak to ice. Maybe we should focus on one. For now. Oh, you know, the incinerator really does need to be taken down notch, though. That would have been better. Think about it. Oh, I hit both of them, though. Oh, Lord Adachi. He's got nothing, unless she's weak to something. Gun? No? Okay, that's all we got. Arrest! Arrest this robot! Let's see. Oh, man, yes! Oh. Hey, Jason, welcome in! You always arrive at very uh, interesting times. <laughs> Howdy. Uh, I wrote the line with the title reference first, and it was recorded for the English VO. Then when reviewing the sub story, I thought it was too silly and cut it for the Japanese subs. Then it became a tiny meme. And I don't even know what you guys are talking about. <laughs> because I have not seen the English dub for this. Um, I guess let's just shoot it. That works, right? Let's try to take out the incinerator. Pokemon oh, Lucy? Yeah! Oh, 
Oh lord. Oh, it does other stuff. Oh, does she have a ice? Oh, she has ice and fire. Great. That's great. Taiji Tang killed it with the delivery. Uh, yeah, I can't wait to listen to some parts of this game with the English sub when I'm done. Hmm. What is the last one week two? Oh, electricity. I forgot. I would have that if I was a hero right now. But I'm not. It's funny because it would have been perfect if I swapped over to my main jobs, but I was like, oh, let's upgrade the other jobs and the sub stories. I'm a silly goose. <sighs> Let's do... I thought she resists gun and knife. Maybe, maybe it's just knife she resists. Pretty good. <laughs> I think I heard the professor screaming in there. <laughs> I think so. Oh, you're watching through Mob Psycho. Mob Psycho is one of my favorite anime. It's so good. Oh, Lord. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Time to heal. Uh, she is next. Okay. Let's at least heal Ichiban. Uh oh. <laughs> Okay, not great. We've got burn, we've got stun. We are halfway down with HP. Not looking good! Not looking good, yep. This fight with the goddamn Roomba is horrible every time. <laughs> In every game. Okay. <laughs> I knew this was gonna happen. As soon as we continued the Roomba substory, I was like, I I I'm going to suffer. I just know I am. I just didn't think to change my jobs. I should have. I should have came into this battle with my best stuff, but you know, everyone makes mistakes. The question is, do I keep fighting that or do I try to get rid of some of these? How much health does that have? Let's let's go for this one. Let's try that. Thanks so much for resubscribing, Moosey. While Tommy is burning up. Uh-oh. Tommy didn't die. <laughs> That's good. All right, let me make you a star. Lucy, thank you so much for resubscribing. I appreciate it. I super duper appreciate you. Here's your star, Lucy. Well, you keep getting ads even though you have turbo? That is really weird. I'm sorry about that. Thank you for the sub. I do appreciate it. Enjoy your ad-free viewing, even though you should have already had it. Which is a butt sometimes. Okay. Um. I really feel we should start attacking the incinerators. It's weak to electricity. Someone else has that. We need to heal, actually. That's what I need to do. Hold on. <laughs> Do I not have my healing ability right now? Oh, I don't have my hero healing ability. I didn't think about it. Oh, shoot. Okay. Well, now I really have screwed myself. <laughs> oh, no! I was counting on that! <laughs> I think is the only one with a heal. Oh, my god. And I have such great healing abilities with hero. 
I always do this to myself with this goddamn Roomba. I always go into the battle not prepared. Even though now I should know what's coming. Oh, okay. I gotta think about this. Hold on. I mean, I could get rid of the stun, actually. That that would do it. Um, yeah. It would remove the status ailments and then somebody else could heal. I know Chitose has that ability. It's just not that great. Oh, and they're kind of far apart. Well, maybe we should focus on Chitose. Who's next? The freaking Roomba's next. Okay. Well. Oh! <laughs> Almost dead. Okay. I'm scared. I am afraid. Hey, tell me. Oh, Lord. Okay, you're not signing anymore. Oh, he has healing. He has healing, too. Okay. Maybe we should do recovery? Let's do recovery. Okay, I found the sub story on YouTube with the dubbed line if you would like to see it. Trust me, you'll want to hear it. I mean, since we're doing the battle right now. Sure. This will be my one English dub moment before, uh... Waiting till the end. Put the link in the chat! I appreciate you guys finding it. Okay. Um... We gotta start attacking it. Let's do something else, maybe... We're trying to go for the... yeah, that one. Damn it. Oh god. Oh no, I forgot that's gonna make it target him. Maybe not? I don't know. I'm scared. Okay, spill the tea. It's almost done. I don't think I can KO it though. I'm just gonna heal Ichiban. I can't. I can't risk it. Okay. Oh, you can post it because you're subscribed, so don't you don't have to have a permit. You have special privileges. And then we have auto healing. Okay. Okay. We're good. We're good. Attack it. Attack it. Just booty bump it. Booty bump it. Okay, I'd resist that, so let's not do that. So you have... Who has electric type moves? Someone has electric. Is it her? Oh my goodness. Okay, let's do that on this one. Okay. There we go. So this will help a lot. <laughs> Try sucking up all the junk in this trunk, Tsuchimaru. <laughs> I bet you can't. Yeah, we'll we'll watch it uh, as a reward for finishing this battle. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, she does have that. But she needs MP to do it! Oh, but the, her normal attack is electric. I forget that. Okay, okay, just do that. Let's give her MP back. Uh, 
Let's do that on... Yeah, we'll do it on Chitose. Why does the funny robot have built-in weapons? Um, because the professor, although he is a professor, is not very smart. Uh, let's do that. <laughs> Honestly, this isn't too bad. I think the first time I fought this thing ever was the worst, and then also the dungeon fight was so horrible. But I'm not afraid for my life anymore. I got a handle on it, you know? I'm doing okay. Wasn't one week to water? Do it anyway. Alright. Ooh, that did very good. We still have the fire one, so let's do that. We're getting there, we're getting there. Huh? You what do you got? What do you got? Don't have any MP at all. Okay. Just just do it anyway. Oh well. You can be so smart you come back around to being dumb again. <laughs> oh lord. That's very strong. I did not like that. We get to go again. Okay. There we go. Now what are you gonna do, huh? Now you can't even attack us anymore. Just speed it up. This is just an MP gaining machine now. <laughs> I almost feel bad for it. I'm just glad I wasn't stuck in this battle for like an hour, because that's what happened the first time. It was horrible. There we go. A nice finish! Alright! $820! And it's in the Suji decks now. Okay. So, let me pull up this video. Try to pause it as quickly as I can. No, no, no. Don't want to hear the line quite yet. Okay. So I think I'm just going to play the audio and I'll watch it in this other tab. Because what's important is the line. It's not like anything in the video itself. Okay. Let me mute this. Coughing's good. I suppose it is more efficient to incinerate trash before taking it inside of the body. Clever play, AI. This is no time for an analysis, Doc! She breathes fire now? Like a dragon? <laughs> that was very good. <laughs> Like a dragon. <laughs> oh, that one, that one, hold on, that one deserves a. Where is it? There it is. Yeah. That, that, was, that was a good one. Yeah, roll credits. Game's over. <laughs> he said the thing. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That was perfect. Beautiful. Breathes fire? Like a dragon? 
<laughs> Leveling up, which is what I wanted. So I guess it's fine. I had a little bit of a challenge fighting the Roomba. All's well that ends well. Poor Roomba. It just wanted to do its job. ま、毎度毎度骨の折れる掃除機だぜ。今度なんだ。爆発でもするのか。ハロー。あ。美味しいパンケーキが焼けました。美味しいパンケーキが焼けました。美味しいパンケーキが焼けました。美味しいパンケーキが焼けました。美味しいパンケーキが焼けました。美味しいパンケーキが焼けました。美味しいパンケーキが焼けました。美味しいパンケーキが焼けました。美味しいパンケーキが焼けました。美味しいパンケーキが
you know, the different spin-offs and stuff like that. Um, but I still had a lot of fun with them. I think I'm just so attached to the main characters that even though Judgment was very fun, and I, I do like the characters in that too. I just, I love the main cast a lot. And these games are also goofier, whereas Judgment is a little bit more serious. It wasn't a bad thing though. I, I feel like I like Judgment and Lost Judgment more than some of the Yakuza games. Like, you know, Yakuza 4 is pretty low on my list, so I would like Judgment more than that. But honestly, I don't have a tier list of the whole series with Judgment included. I, I don't know where they would place, but I did like Lost Judgment more just because of the mechanics. I felt like they improved a ton compared to the first game. I did hear that most people liked the story better in the first one. I honestly couldn't say which one I preferred, but just because I had I had more fun with Lost Judgment, so it's hard for me to say that I disliked it compared to Judgment, you know? But I wouldn't say I really have a preference for the stories. I just really like the mechanics and stuff of the second game. Oh, he's hungry. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> okay, so we can do that. Um, we have the sub story there. Oh, let's look in tasks. That'll make this faster, right? Oh, it says it. Yeah, there's one right there in the right side of the map, huh? Yep. We've got another one there. I think I'm strong enough to take on this one, but honestly, I just keep putting it off. So maybe I will just continue putting it off. <laughs> Plus, I, I just did a fighting one and I don't feel like doing a fighting one immediately. So I know what I'm, I'm in for when I do that. Let's just go look at the mall. I'm curious about that one. And then we'll go check out the other new one. We'll see. Uh, I liked the story better in Judgment, but the gameplay of Lost Judgment. But I like the whole school side story arc in Lost Judgment. Remind me of GTA. Yeah, I thought that the school side story was interesting too. Like I said, I just had more fun with the second game in general. This is on like the second floor. <laughs> uh, Sojimaru feature syrup and butter dispenser for pancakes. Also made from trash. Oh, goodness gracious. Look at his ice cream! <gasps> Gorgon Gourmand. His ice cream sword. He's like an upgraded version of the other one. I like his donut hat. <laughs> Very, uh, Mickey Mouse. Well, they're level... They're low level. <laughs> fine. I recently changed up my personal pancake recipe. I'm really happy with how I prepare them now. I add in crushed up oats and banana to the mix and gives them the right sweetness. That sounds very good. I've had banana pancake before, but like with slices in it. You know, I've tried to put fruit in the pancakes before and I feel like I just burn them, but I haven't tried it in a long time. But adding it into the batter itself is actually a very good idea. My sexual ice cream. I will not eat ice cream unless it is bisexual. <laughs> Still need to try to play Judgment. I own both the games, but I was struggling because so much of the menus and UI were not compatible and hard for me to read. Oh man. I think I've heard that before too. I really wish they would do like a patch or something to help with accessibility. Okay, I could try to get him. I will use better him this time because I do want him. He's so cute! <laughs> okay, let's see. I do have a lot of these. I think it's pretty much guaranteed that I'd, I would get them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> pretty much guaranteed. <laughs> And we're already up here, yep. We got him! Win. Level 10. 
fire type, okay. Alright. I like him. I like his outfit. Uh, it sucks because the story and gameplay intrigue me. All the mainline game menus had normal darker backgrounds with light text, but all the important hey, stuff on. went the complete opposite direction. I get why, but still. Yeah. I don't think they really uh, kept accessibility in mind, unfortunately, for that. I'm really sorry about that. I wonder if there's a mod. I don't know if you have it on PC, though. But sometimes people make accessibility mods, which really should just be part of the game in general, but... That might be a way for you to make a workaround. Okay. There are two of these, so let's do that first and then we'll do the substitute. Rescuer of the Lost. Oh, my、あら。懐かれちまったのかい。離れると泣くもんだから。結局その子のうちにまで行って晩飯食って帰ったんだった。Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright. Great with kids. san helped the lost kid find his family a while back. He even had dinner at their home. Sound like a good memory. Ah. There's another one up here. Never got any of those Master Suji gifts during my play. Oh, really? Yeah, the only reason I have them is because of the DLC I got with the, with the version of the game. That I got. <laughs> so I kind of have like cheat codes without meaning to. <laughs> yeah. Are they only from DLC? That would make sense because they're basically a guaranteed win. Close to being sued by Disney with those donuts. Yeah. He's got to be careful. Yeah, I own them all on PC. I think I looked before and didn't see any. Okay. There are more important mods like giving Kaito more ass. <laughs> See that from space! Okay, she does his obsession. オーディオプレイヤー。ちょっと沼だね。沼なのか。そこが見えない。でも確実に私好みの音になっていく。一番も来てみる。ごくり。ごくり。Obsessed <laughs> <laughs> with music. Doesn't tell me like music too. I've always liked music now and again, but Cheat Chan's crazy about it. Guess to her it's a real rabbit hole. All right. I would get attached to Peepaw too. Oops. Really pissing me off. All right. Sub story. You know what I should do though? I should get those healing abilities back on. I have to go to the job place for that, right? I think so. Oh man, we're already here. Okay, it's fine. If I get another fight, I'll just deal with it. But definitely before I fight the guy in the other sub store, I need to think about that. Well, that's where the snake is from. Oh, is there just one for all the Anaconda Center stuff? I saw that. Okay, it's over here. Oops. <laughs> I like when you do a smackdown, uh, but your entire party is blocked by a car or something, and the enemies just perish without being touched. Oh, hello. An actress. That scene took forever to shoot. Now that I finally have some time off, I want to take it easy. But there's no way I can just let my hair down here. I wonder if there's a place where I can relax, surrounded by nature. Well, look no further than Dondoko Island. It's a beautiful haven of nature and a hotspot for delicious food. 
You'll get more than what you bargained for in the relaxation department, guaranteed. Wow, you're giving me a sales pitch up front and personal? You're gutsy. I like that in a guy. Mind telling me more about this island of yours? I'm... Nikkel Kidman. Here's hoping I get to enjoy my time off there. Nicole Kidman. Nikkel. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, tough story. This area is bustling with street performers and stuff. I guess ukuleles are real popular around here. The guy's even drawn in a whole crowd. Heck, he's got the stage to himself. Maybe he's actually a pro. Wouldn't hurt to drop in for a listen. Embrace your wild side. Yeah, she's the one that does the AFC theater ad. Yep, yep. Okay, let's see. Through rain or shine, I'll always be ever at your side. Huh. Hey. Oh, the song's pretty good. <laughs> Thanks, Ichiban. I did my best. Yeah, I ended up staying for the rest of the show. Live music sure is great. Man, am I lucky! Not every day you can catch Matt Tropico performing at a place like this. Apparently, this is his release party. I hear he's going on tour soon. Maybe I'll buy some tickets. So he is a big deal after all. That would explain the huge crowd. Guess I ought to get going too. おいおい、大丈夫かよ。支えてくる。一回これを下ろしな。あ、すみません。ありがとうございます。思ったよりもこれ重くて。いや、気にすんなね。あんた人気の歌手なんだろ。スタッフだっているんだし、そんなに体張
そういえばハワイってエスカレーターどっちに立つのか日本だと関東じゃ左に立って関西だと右側に立ったりするだろうハワイはどっちに立つんだろうと思ってさほうそういうことそれはね待て勝負しようぜカズが右か左か当たったらジュースおごりだ子供かいいぜハワイのエスカレーターうんうん、right side. 右だな。よし、じゃあ俺は左だ。うん。それじゃあ答えはね、どっちも外れ。うん。決まってないんだよね。どっちに立つかなんて。真ん中に立ってるのも自由だし、歩いたりとかもあんまない。But if there was a side, it'd be the right side. そもそもエスカレーターは歩くもんじゃねえしな。じゃあ二人とも、私。GG boys。Oh my god. Shouldn't Tommy have known? Tommy lives here. I'm sorry, I was like standing over here. This is what it's like to have. <laughs> this is what it's like to have like ADHD, I swear to god. Everything's so overstimulated. Hello! I was supposed to say, we should go to the hotel later. I was, and then they're having their conversation. Oh, which side of the escalator do you stand on and let people pass by you? Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> oh my god. Jesus Christ. This is why I wear headphones in public, man. Okay. I, uh, apparently, the sub story does not continue here. Okay. Let me leave. Let me take a look. What time is it? Hmm, where to eat? Get wrecked! Yeah, when the NPC dialogue plays the same line at the same time, it me. Yeah, that like double. It's like, oh. I can like about New Vegas is that it's not as radioactive and green as Fallout 3. Ooh. I still need to play it. I, maybe when I finish the show, I'll want to play it. Um. Yeah. Oh my god, there's both of them are right here. Okay. Well, let's just try to continue that one. That's right. We don't give a heck in America which side of the escalator we stand on. Yeah, it, that's an interesting thing, isn't it? In uh, other countries, it's kind of normal to stand on a certain side so people can... If they're in a rush, they can walk past you, but here, it's like you're just expected to stand in the middle because people don't really go up the escalators like that unless there's some kind of emergency or something, but it is a good idea. I mean, honestly, it's kind of funny because, like, that's the, that's the courtesy in other countries, right? Like, you stand on one side to let people pass in case they do need to. But here, it's like, if you're just standing on an escalator and someone's like trying to go up and be like, excuse me, excuse me, like trying to get past you, you're kind of like, what the fuck? <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's kind of like, what's your problem? Like the total opposite. That was normal to have a side. Uh, apparently here, not really. I mean, when they were posing the question, I was like, oh, well, it'd be the right side. But then when they actually talked about it, I was like, oh, well, I guess, yeah, people don't really stand to one side. I mean, I, I know that I've stood on the left side, but I don't know, it's just kind of random what side I stand on because there isn't really like a culturally accepted side to be on. It's just kind of like, I just get on the escalator and I don't think about it. I just hold one or the other of the sides. I don't know. All right, there's a little thing here. これ着てフラ踊りたいなちいちゃんはフラダンス踊れんのかまあそれなりにねダンスは好きなのバレエとか日本舞踊とかヒップホップもいいね一番はダンスとかしたことあるうんせいぜい盆踊りか土壌すくいくらいしかへえ私その辺やったことないな今度教えてよ別にいいけどこれってダンスなのか<笑>立派なダンスだよ一番のレッスン楽しみだなよっしゃー、That's、cute I'll be dancing ヒチャン likes dancing Not sure why I agreed to it But I'm going to teach her an old folk dance one of these days Lucky me Alright Love story Matt 
may I please get your autograph? Oh. <laughs> sure. Thank you for your support. Oh my god! It's Matt Tropico! Could I get an autograph too? Me too! Hi. Yeah, of course. I'll get around to everyone, so please, no pushing or shoving. That's the guy who was playing the ukulele a while ago. Dang. Full autograph session out of nowhere? I guess he's actually super popular. <laughs> Despite all the fussing, he stays humble. I think I get why everyone likes him so much. Hey! Over there! Isn't that the potato dude? Potato? What? Yeah, it is! Hey! Where are the spuds? Did it taste good with the grass? Say something, tater! <gasps> what? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? What are those kids going on about? Potatoes? <laughs> if they were trying to say a word, I think they were saying, I do not like that. I do not like that one bit. Okay. What? So... Potatoes? No, this is a different sub-story! Damn it! Sorry, I thought it was a sub-story. Mm -hmm. Okay, UFO. Different sub-story. Oh, Jesus. Close encounters of the bird kind bird. UFO didn't whiplash. ガモメとか光っていたならドローンとかそういった可能性もニワトリを連れ去るドローンなんてないでしょ。チェケ。はっきり見たんです。あれは絶対にキャトルミューティレーションよ。キャトル。ってそんな大げさな。映画の見過
That's my chicken shirt. Oh. Okay. You are down here. It can only be continued at night. It, it popped up on the map, though. It did pop up. But I'll, I'll go back to it after we finish this one. We'll see what happens. Oh, right here. Now what? You got the Reese Lightning after you? What's going on? Uh huh. You fucking eyesore! Please, just leave me alone. Oh? What's going on? Uh? We're just some punks chasing after our dreams, trying to get our band's name out there. Unlike you, we've been working our asses off, so it wouldn't hurt to give us a little spending money, would it? You sold off your pride and soul, all to become popular. By now, you're probably making the big bucks, aren't you? Well, what do you say, Golem Gunwolf? Golem Gunwolf? Huh? Don't call me that ever again. I'm Matt Tropico now. You think I don't know that? You used to be one fun guy, you know? Letting loose, going wild, playing real music. <clears throat> Here, how about this? Become Golem Gunwolf again and we'll drop this whole thing for today. <laughs> Works for me. Yeah. I'll pass. Golem Gunwolf is no more. Oh yeah? Then hand over all your cash and beat it, you fucking sellout. Uh -huh. Who the hell are you? I'm his fan, and I'd be real bummed out if he got hurt and had to stop playing the ukulele. Also, the way I see it, you're the real eyesores around here. Come on, man. Knock it off and get out of here already. Uh -huh. Seriously? Do you even know anything about this rat bastard old man? This guy makes hundreds, if not thousands, off trash music. Maybe he ought to spare his old pals a dime or two. But first, let's rob this old man blind. Uh -huh. Nothing personal, buddy. Die! Yeah, well, you have a shitty mustache. Get out the Sharpie mustache! Exactly! That's what I'm saying! <laughs> Level 12? Y'all are nothing. Y'all are babies! Two hits! Well, we'll get Nightlock eventually. Okay. Well, we'll get as far as we can before that happens. I have that much. Oh, come on. It's what I would say if I had that much. I didn't believe you for a second. <laughs> and if you had that mustache, you wouldn't admit it. <laughs> That's how I knew you were fucking. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at this guy's shitty mustache. I have that mustache. I have that mustache and Bishy made fun of me. <laughs> and I took that personally. Oh, I got exactly $111. I thought this was a safe place. Hey, you said if you didn't have the mustache, you're fine. I have that mustache. Let me just buy some markers. Yeah, the only way you could have that mustache is if you drew it on your face. Come on. And I do yeah. that. I draw a mustache on my face sometimes for costumes. <clears throat> but I think I have that mustache sometimes, but it, it goes all the way, you know, goatee. Ugh. Yeah, let's just get a nice close-up view of that mustache. It's just, it's so different from the rest of the hair on his face. Like... The hair on his head, his eyebrows, the mustache just like stands out. It's a hairy worm. It's like that hairy caterpillar. <laughs> Finally learned your lesson. I better not catch you pulling the shit ever again. Uh? Damn it! Unbelievable. Hey, are you all right? Hi. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Looks like you ended up helping me again. I never actually introduced myself, did I? I'm Matt Tropico, but you can just call me Matthew. Oh. I'm Casca. Nah. Do those kind of guys come bother you pretty often? Some kids were calling you weird names, too. <laughs> oh, you heard them. Well, truth be told, I went through a lot to get to where I am now. <gasps> Guess that's the price of fame. Seems like you had it rough. How about we get out of here? After everything that's happened, 
This place kind of makes it hard to talk. The bars sound good? Drinks are on me, as thanks for helping me. I've got a few things I'd like to get off my chest. Drink link with Matt. Well, since he already invited me, I might as well go with him. Let's go. Easy. Yeah, sure. Let's bounce. Hi. All right. His mustache is Ichibod's eyebrow. <laughs> he stole it, ripped it right off his face. They're just reusing assets again. <laughs> took the eyebrow. I slapped it on his face. <laughs> to our chance encounter. Cheers. Cheers. Blink. Nah. So, do you always play at shopping centers and out on the street? Yeah. Well, I used to do it more often, but ever since I signed with a music label, I haven't really had the chance for stuff like that. That last time I played at places like that was actually a special release party for my new album drop. Oh. oh, really? Guess I was pretty lucky to hear you play live back then. Going pro is seriously something. That was a real good song, too. Everyone loved it. You're incredible, man. <laughs> but that makes me happy to hear. I really am thankful for your support. If only I'd gone with the ukulele from the start. Oh? What do you mean? The people who assaulted me and the kids who called me names were both consequences of my past actions. Past actions? You used to do something other than music? Yeah. Nope. I've always been a musician. I just changed genres. You see... To say, they start playing that song again. In the past, I was a pioneer of wild rock. Nanda. Wild rock? What's that? Like rock and roll? Hi. Sort of. I wouldn't expect you to know it because, well, it's a music genre of my own invention. It's where you become one with nature and channel the raging storm you feel inside however you feel best. Mm. Huh. I don't really follow, but sounds like it's the complete opposite from what you're doing right now. Mind if I ask why the change? You don't have to answer if you don't want. Hi. Nah, I don't mind. You are my savior after all. But it's really not that interesting of a story. Up till a few years back, I decked myself out from head to toe in punk getup and played guitar under the name Golem Gunwolf. Yeah, let's look at his outfit. He's got like leaves on chains. Okay. I mean, the outfit's pretty cool. He's got, it looks like seashells on like a necklace or something. I'm not sure. Right. But my act never got popular. I couldn't even book a concert venue. And even though I did a ton of gorilla gigs around town, nothing ever took off. Back then, Wild Rock was my whole world. When things didn't work out, I just kept screaming my lungs out. The emotions I poured into my music were rotten and ugly. To really sell the act that I was one with the earth, I'd pull off stunts where I'd hang potatoes or- Oh, it was potato. It was potatoes. I would pull off stunts where I'd hang potatoes around my neck or tear weeds from the ground and eat them. The list goes on. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah, that's, uh... That's kind of gross, no lie. Is that why those kids were calling you the potato guy? You really have gone through a lot. But now you can just look back on the past and... Yeah. No way! If I could, I'd erase my past from history. Different song. Okay. This portion of the sub story brought to you by Aloha Beer. <laughs> potato necklace! He does have the booty shorts, he does. For some reason, that reminded me. Uh, my grandpa is a founder of a motorcycle club. Ooh! Their main chapter is in SoCal, but they also have two others. One is Mexico, other in France. Interesting! Weird because the France members don't speak English, but they speak Spanish and French! Huh! That is interesting! Oh, wow. That's really cool. I guess you got reminded because they had, like, the greaser outfits, like, kind of like a motorcycle outfit. Yeah, because I'm betting new music genres. Yeah, we're going to start seeing uh, wild rock songs. <laughs> that necklace, my god. Okay. Let's see. Um, yeah, if I could, I'd erase my past from history. That bad, huh? Hi. Asuka, I've always wanted to make the kind of music that would give people courage, that would move their hearts. I used Wild Rock to convey all sorts of emotions. I thought I could inspire others to live confidently and confront their suffering if I put everything I had into my songs. But if nobody's listening, then is it really music? 
or just white noise. And if I had a concert in the middle of the woods and nobody was around to hear it, did it make a sound? Maybe if our songs don't actually reach people, they're all meaningless. Then around that time, playing soft pop with the ukulele got popular. I figured if I could make a living off music everybody listens to, this was it. I was determined. I pawned off my beloved guitar and bought my ukulele. So that's what happened. Hi. Well, it helped that I was already good at the guitar. That made learning the ukulele easier. Somehow, I managed to push through and make it as uh, make it as a pop artist. Now I'm more popular than I've ever been. But after I became famous, people from my past started tormenting me. That explains why those guys were messing with you earlier. Those kids, too. Oh. After all this time, it's like someone's rubbing salt in an old festering wound. Like they're exposing my dark past. And it's not a pleasant feeling at all. <sighs> I bet. All I'm hoping for now is that enough time will pass for everyone to forget my history with Wild Rock. As long as music can reach other people, it holds meaning. I'm on the right path now, even though it took me a long time to get there. Oh, um, kinda dampened the mood there, didn't I? Sorry, I guess I drank a bit too much. I appreciate you joining me today. I meant to thank you for helping me, but I just ended up going on and on about myself. Nah, don't worry about it. I learned a lot about music today, and, well, I think your songs are great. Keep up the good work, man. I'm rooting for you. Arigatou thank you. That means a lot. Let's talk more about you some other time. <laughs> Alright. He said music has no meaning if it can't reach people. Maybe he's right. I don't know. Okay. Let's see. So let's get out of the mall. Let's leave the mall. And look at the map. I always forget there's a workshop here, too. Okay. So, the bird one is here. Be there it is. You can just walk up there. What you looking at? Oh, something else I did this weekend was I had some delicious barbecue. Perhaps the most delicious I've ever had in my life, gone? maybe. Maybe. Uh, we went there with my family over the weekend. We did a lot this weekend. <laughs> we did more than usual. Uh, oh my god, it was so good. They just had all kinds of stuff. Yeah, American barbecue, yeah, yeah. I mean, I love Korean barbecue as well. Honestly, it's hard to pick one over the other, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> now that I'm thinking about that, I'm like, wait, Korean barbecue's really good? Well, it was the best American barbecue I've been to. They had all kinds of sides and stuff. And they had peach cobbler. Oh my god. I'm not even like a huge peach cobbler person, but honestly, like within the last few years, I've been eating it more often, and I'm I think I'm a peach cobbler person now. It's very good. Okay. <laughs><笑> じゃ、石油を目指して<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> Flip it, send a Bishu's family to corroborate their claim to having the best barbecue in their life. Well, I ain't a liar! Yeah. Smoked ribs have a stranglehold. Yeah. 
I think my favorite thing that they had there was they had uh, pork ribs, and it was just a really good seasoning on it. I don't really eat that that often. That might have been... I doubt that was the very first time. No, no, no. Never mind. Well, I'm going to be honest. I don't know what kind of ribs I usually do eat. Like, like my family has bought like ribs from the store before to, to cook. And I don't even know if it was beef or pork anymore. What's the what's the usual one? <laughs> I don't know. Probably pork. I was gonna say I don't think I've usually had that, but I have no idea. Anyway, that's very good, and a good brisket is also very good. I would say brisket, and then that rib was probably my favorite. And usually brisket's my go-to, but I also like pulled pork as well. Okay, pork is the usual type. Okay, never mind. Went to a smoked brisket place. Ooh, yep, yep. Most of these party chaps just confirm that Chitose holds the one brain cell pretty much. <laughs> it's a tough job, but somebody's got to do it, you know. Oh, hey, Casca. Yo. You want to go get barbecue later? Yo, what's up, Matthew? We've been running into each other a lot lately. Where are you heading? Another live show or something? Actually, I have to meet with an event coordinator today. Huh? Oh yeah? Hi. Yep. This time, we're planning to throw a concert at the beach. If you have time to spare, please drop by. Hey. Wait, seriously? That sounds fun. Oh lord. Yeah. Um. Huh? Excuse me, sir. Are you Golem Gunwolf? Uh-oh. This kid gonna call him unsavory potato names or something to mess with him? I'll keep a close eye on him and... I... I've always been a big fan! Golem Gunwolf rocks! Huh? I used to listen to you at the empty parking lot. Is that right? I'd love to hear you play Wild Rock again sometime, Mr. Golem. Sorry, kid. I'm not a part of that scene anymore. What? I go by Matt Tropico now. The man you know as Golem Gunwolf no longer exists. Matthew. Uh, oh. Okay. I'm sorry for bringing that up. You know, if the game doesn't do it, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> That's the thing. So you guys can't escape. You can't escape the sub-story song. <laughs> that kid earlier seemed really down. Maybe I should talk to him if I spot him in town. This is a long sub-story. My goodness. Oh, Golem Gunwolf can't come to the phone right now. Why? Matt Tropico has killed him. Let the sad sub-story music wash over you. You know what would be funny is if that song came up right after Bishy played it. <laughs> I know, that hasn't happened quite yet. Not yet. Tose knows her honey. What's that? I haven't been over here. Hachimitsu <laughs> ハナの蜜で味って全然変わるからね。マカダミアナッツの蜂蜜はちょっとビターで美味しいの。へえ、そうなのか。マカダミアナッツって、チョコだけじゃないんだな。驚くとこそこなんだ。仲良し。フェイ
You know, I've always pronounced it ukulele, but it's not correct. So I'm trying to say it the correct way. Trying. Need a keyword. Hey. Oh, there he is. Yeah, I don't. I don't usually eat honey by itself. Um, I tried honey with honeycomb for the first time, like I think, like four years ago, when I uh, went on a trip somewhere, and uh, it was really good. But it was so sweet. It was intense, and it was so sweet that I think it burned my throat, and I had a sore throat for the next like three days. <laughs> and I didn't even eat that much. I had like one bite. But, uh, that was my experience with honeycomb, so it wasn't that great. I would be willing to try it again, but probably, like, a smaller amount. Um, I don't know. And then I had to go, like, on the plane and everything with a sore throat. It, it was not fun. Um, but I think the one I tried was, like... Oh, what flavor was it? it? We got it from, like, a food stall where they had a bunch of different types, like, from different flowers and stuff. And it tasted really good, but, oh my god. You know what would it could have helped with that sore throat? Some honey, right? Like <laughs> it, it didn't make any sense, so I don't know. I blamed the honey. But maybe it was something else. I was traveling, I could have gotten sick. I don't know. But it happened right after the honey. So I don't know. Yeah, you can eat the honeycomb. Uh you you can technically swallow it. Like it's just wax, so it's not gonna hurt you, but it's not like that good. You know, usually you would chew it. Some people just eat it like that, some people spit out the wax. But it is fine. Organic honey with hundred percent infused bee venom, yeah. <laughs> That's the best flavor they have. Of course. Uh no, but like uh we always buy like raw honey. Uh, which doesn't have anything, doesn't have any bits in it or anything. It's just like, it's basically organic honey, uh, which is better for you than like the, you know, the teddy bear shaped honey. That's probably like mostly sugar. Um, so we try to get real honey and, uh, sometimes I just have a spoonful of it and it's good. It's very, very sweet, of course, but, uh, I, I love honey. I love putting honey in desserts. I love putting it in tea as a sweetener. I'll use it in cooking sometimes, like sometimes you'll make like a soy sauce kind of sauce and it'll have honey, soy sauce, a bunch of other stuff. Anyway. Honey! Hey, you there. I don't want to get surgery, Mom. I don't want to leave the city either. Oh? I bet it'll hurt a ton. And I might even die, right? That's scary! That's the kid who said he was a fan of Matt's wild rock face. This is what's best for you, Pete. If you don't go through with the surgery, your illness will only get worse. Don't you want to get better? Mm. Well, yeah, but... Um, you can head back to the car without me. I want to stay here a little longer, get some fresh air. Oh, alright. I'll go pick up your medicine first, but here. Take the car keys just in case. He's gonna drive away. <laughs> okay. I know, yeah, there was something like this in Y6, too. I'm scared. I don't want to die. Oh my god. Hey, you there. No, stop. Much. <laughs> Too far? <laughs> oh no, he's crying. Sniffle, sniffle. <laughs> Why is that old man recording me? No! <laughs> hey, what's wrong? You okay? Huh? Who are you? Sorry to startle you. My name's Kasuka. I overheard you two talking earlier and got curious. I'm Pete. Um, are you the same person who was with Mr. Golem earlier? 
Mr. Golem? Oh, right. Matthew's old stage name. Soda. Yep, that's me. You've got a good memory, kid. Thanks. So, your health not doing so well? So yeah, my body's too frail, so I've been going to the hospital ever since I was born. But now it's finally reached its limit, and this time they're sending me to a hospital in Texas for a major surgery. Texas? Texas mention! Do I have any, like, Texan sound effects? Oh my god, I don't think I do! I should have one! Oh, man. Welcome in, Steven! Yeehaw, indeed. I'm trying to see if I have some cowboy sound effects. I don't think I do! I need something. Oh my goodness. What could be a Texan sound effect? I don't even know. Hold on, I'm trying to see. I don't think I do. Man, I don't even know what I'm thinking. I'm thinking of like, yeehaw! I'm thinking of like a yeehaw. I'm thinking of like a, like a horse galloping. Da -da 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 -da. Oh yeah, then we got the cowboy hat. That's the closest thing I got. That's all I got. <laughs> Texas mentioned. They're mentioning Texas in Yakuza <laughs> for like the first time ever. I feel like. I don't think they've ever talked about Texas before. Oh, another one. Another one. Oh, no. Oh, Lord. Welcome in, Raiders. I am very, I'm very focused on this cowboy nonsense, but welcome in, y'all. Oh, my exes live in Texas. I don't claim them. <laughs> Welcome in, y'all. Thank you so much for that raid, Steven. Uh, let me get a shout out. Steven! Welcome in. Kate, and Raptor as well. Howdy, howdy, y'all. Welcome in. Yes, the new Mickey Mouse ears. A little lopsided, but that's okay. That's okay. Oh, you're playing more Crash Word. I still haven't played it, but I remember the last time you talked about it. And I still want to try to play it, because I like word games. I'm from Cali, and Dwight mentioned it before. Yes, that is true. <laughs> California mention. <laughs> Welcome in, y'all. Seeing if I missed anything. What kind of Texan are you? Not a very good one. Texas, oh no, he's dead. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, wait, I have three of the hats. People requested three of them. I'm just going to put this one on top of the other one. That count? I think so. I'm gonna say it counts. I'm the streamer. Anyway, speaking of streamer, I'm the streamer. My name is Bishy. Welcome in, y'all, if you're new in here from Steven's streams. Um, I'm playing Yakuza at the moment. I'm a huge fan of the series. I've played all the games, except, of course, for this one that I'm getting through right now, Infinite Wealth. Uh, but I like a lot of other kinds of games, too. I'm just playing Yakuza right now, really, but I'm also trying to get back to playing uh, some Ace Attorney. Uh, I just finished the first game in the Apollo Justice Trilogy, and I need to finish Chronicles as well. Hats are plus one to gay, yes, once they are equipped. <laughs> so I'm at least plus three gay, but I'm already pretty much maxed out gay levels at the moment, so... You know, I mean, maybe they could be a little higher, but... Mm, the plus three definitely. I got maxed out there. Yeah, anyway, uh... This child is uh, supposed to go get a surgery and is scared that he's going to die. Um, so <laughs> not a very lighthearted moment, honestly, but I'm sure he'll be fine. And if he's supposed to go to Texas to get the surgery, so. Okay. Yeah, they're sending me to a hospital in Texas. But I'm too scared to go. I can't be brave right now, even though I know I have to do it. So that's how it is. <gasps> Having a large-scale surgery done on such a small body, it's gonna take a lot out of him. No wonder he's so scared. Is there anything I can do to cheer him up? What about these hats? <laughs> you, you can have this one, small child. Will that cheer you up at all? Maybe a little bit. You know what? I, I have something that might help you. Hold on. I think so. Give me a second. might work. You know what? No. Here. 
Here. I also have another one. There, look. Oh, they're moving together. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> there you go. There's just a tiny one beside you. Is that better? Does that cheer you up? Here, maybe I can maybe I can separate them. Here we go. Uh Ichibon, you can have the little one. It's raining somewhere. Okay. <laughs> Maybe that cheered him up. We'll see. Okay. <laughs> what? Huh? What's going on? Oh, sorry. That was an alarm to remind me to take my medicine. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> That's that wild rock. Oh my god. Take your medicine now! <laughs> I know, mood whiplash, huh? <laughs> Ugh. Gross. Yeah, no water? Come on. That was, uh, pretty hardcore, my dude. Was that? So, yep, it was Mr. Golem. I really love this song. Since I usually end up sick, I don't get to leave my house very often. But I could hear Mr. Golem playing this song a bunch of times while shouting in the empty lot nearby. I'm sure the neighbors didn't like that. <laughs> Rah, it's vitamin time! <laughs> My mom was furious with him, saying that he was being obnoxious, but I liked it. If you pay attention to the lyrics, you would know he's actually singing about the joy and passion you find in life. And that gave me the courage to keep going. I always listen to it before going to the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah? Even though he said that he doesn't do Wild Rock anymore, I still support him and the music he wants to make now. But before I have to leave for surgery, I just want to listen to Mr. Golem play live one more time. Golem means a lot to you, doesn't he? So. Yup, he's my hero. His songs always cheer me up. Matthew called Wild Rock his dark past. Said it didn't give anyone courage, but he's had the wrong idea this whole time. Pete, what are you still doing here? You were taking such a long time to get back to the car, I got worried and... Well, anyway, it's time we head home. Oh, okay. Donna. I gotta go now. See you around. Thank you for the clip. I wonder where Matthew is now. Time to make a comeback. <sighs> Adachi, stop growling in my ear. <sighs> anyway. Oh my god. This sub story is making me go everywhere. That is him, right? Yeah. I'm going all over the place for this. <laughs> These are like barely holding on for dear life. I honestly can't wear them too long or like sometimes, not every time, but sometimes like just the slight width of the hat adds a little bit of pressure to my headphones <laughs> that are already kind of tight <laughs> and it hurts my head a little bit. Ah, uh, that one shows up early. Maybe this is a way the game devs make the player explore the map. That makes sense. At this point. The map is old news for me. Okay, there's a little conversation here. Similarly, my alarm sound is an actual siren. My thought process is I won't start hating the sound if I already hate it. 
What was that? So anyway, hey, you. The last time we talked, you said you're gonna be catching something. Oh lord. Come on, what's up, boo? <laughs> okay, fine. I'll sue you. I'll sue you. I'll beat you up and then I'll sue you. For making me beat you up. <laughs> I keep forgetting Adachi's naked. And you don't even need a mod. ハワイは湿度が低くていいな。カラッとしてて過ごしやすいぜ。ねえ。確かに暑くても俺の反射も不意図が大なし。Dislikes <laughs> humidity. Same. Dachi-san says humidity messes up his hair. Apparently he styles it every morning. Yeah, I wonder how the humidity is in Japan compared to Texas. I will say I feel like the humidity in Louisiana is worse than Texas, but I have also experienced that. I wonder how how bad it is. Like, I wonder if I go there during the Cuban season, I'm just like, oh, this is just like home. <laughs> you know? Uh, when I went to Austin for a wedding, it made me glad I live in a desert. It ain't great, but it's dry. Yeah, no, humidity is horrible. It's like being in an oven. What? I didn't even see them. Goodness gracious. Yeah, get him, Adachi. Adachi reminds me of uh, Senshi from Dungeon Meshi. He gives that energy. Yeah, just the kind of like rough older guy. I love Senshi. Now I'm trying to think of my favorite character from Dungeon Meshi. I think my favorite actually is Fallon. Especially with what's going on now in the show. Which... What day is it? It's not Dungeon Meshi Day, is it? No, it's Tuesday. I'm caught up until this Thursday, then I won't be caught up anymore. When the new episode comes out, I'm probably not going to watch it right away. So. Uh, yeah, I think my favorite's actually Fallon. But I, I love all the characters. I, li I like Senshi, too. I'm guessing Florida probably has the worst humidity in the US. Oh yeah, I don't know. I've never been there. Texas can get pretty humid, but not as bad as people claim it can be. When the days are hot, though, they're hot. yeah. I guess I guess Texas is probably the worst for for temperatures, but maybe not humidity. But I guess uh, I've always had this notion that Texas is like really bad humidity because it was often compared to like California for me growing up because that's where my family is from. So of course, California doesn't really have that like thick, uncomfortable humidity. So when you like step out of the, I always remember this, like when we would visit back and forth, when we would come back to Texas, stepping out of the airport, is just like, <laughs> like a wall of moisture hitting your face. And of course, like California is near the ocean. So there is moisture in the air, but it's not, it's not the same as the humidity here. It's just like, oh, it's just very uncomfortable. But then you get used to it after a few days again. Uh, Lake Charles. Okay, so Louisiana has the worst humidity in the U.S. Okay, I thought so, because I've never really heard Florida being humid. Um, yeah, I guess it's wow, Louisiana. But then that begs the question, how bad is Japanese humidity compared to Louisiana? You know? Do I need money? Do I need money? No, but I should say. Ooh, I've been to Costa Rica and the humidity there is intense. Oh my god, yeah, I bet. I I am sure that is much worse than what we have here. <laughs> Already, I mean, that's like rainforest. Oh, you know, there's actually something I can get here. Aloha. <laughs> He's looking at me like, oh, hey, it's Yuba. I have money for it. 
Ah. And then there's some items here too, but <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna stock up a little bit. Alright, we got Thank more charge. Nice. Okay, sub story. That is old guitar. Oh my gosh. Ew. That's one wicked guitar. Getting hit with it would hurt a ton. Kindness went up. Hey, Casca. I would have thought we would meet in a place like this. Now you've got a ukulele, you're buying a guitar? Yeah. No, I'm going to keep playing the ukulele. I won't ever pick up this guitar again. This guitar? Truth is, this was my guitar. The one I used when I was in the wild rock scene. The same one you pawned to buy your ukulele? Mm. Looks like you were pretty hardcore, but uh, guess no one's biting. Yeah, seems so. Well, it wasn't anything expensive in the first place, and I did get a little crazy with the customizations. Figures it wouldn't be worth much. That right. Hey, Matthew. You know how you said that wild rock phase of yours was something you wanted erased from history? You thought your music couldn't reach anyone? <laughs> well, it actually did. You probably just never realized mm -hmm. it. Huh? It was just a matter of time. Honestly, I'm surprised they waited this long. They usually just hit you with it right away. Should we make it more sad? Should we, should we layer the sadness on a little bit? to be killed <laughs> okay okay jeez <laughs> i thought i still had one turn on but it's the game <laughs> i was like oops one more <laughs> oh no the game started it i just added on i just added on some more it's so sad our happiest street surfer isn't here to enjoy our upgraded battery <laughs> Don't remind me! <laughs> now I'm gonna play the song for me! Remember that kid with the specs who came up to you a while ago? I ran into him in town after that. It sounded like he was always sick with something and wouldn't leave his home very often. But when he heard you screeching during your wild rock shows nearby, it cheered him up. I'm sure that's why he became one of your fans. Really? Yeah, but he's gonna be leaving town for treatment. Seems like he's got a major surgery scheduled and he was scared to death about it, saying he couldn't be brave. Look, I ain't gonna tell you what you should or shouldn't do. The Matthew who was super into Wild Rock, I think he's pretty damn cool too. <laughs> Even if people make fun of him, calling him lame or whatever, someone who cheers up kids is one stand-up dude in my book. But I hope one day you can embrace your past and be proud of who you are, because you're an awesome musician, man. <laughs> <laughs> Real nice guy, Casca. I have some business to attend to, so I need to get going, but I'd like for you to come to my next concert with that kid. I don't know if I can live up to your expectations, but I promise you I'll sing with all my heart and soul. Ah. All right. That's a pretty cool looking guitar. <laughs> I want to see you eat more raw potatoes. Isn't that like super bad for you? <laughs> I think you get mighty sick. Taking us all over. 
That emote is so good. <laughs> now I want an emote of something sad in the rain. Write that down. New emote idea for Ruvo. Playing a dangerous game. There he is. Ew. Hey, Pete. Well, hi, Koska. Did you also come to see Mr. Golem? Oh, wait. I mean, uh, did you come for the Matt Tropico concert? Pretty much. I was just thinking about inviting you. Uh -huh. Me? Oh. Yep. I figured, if you're gonna be leaving town soon, then best you make as many fun memories as you can. His style has changed, yeah, but the fact that he wants to cheer other people up sure hasn't. It would be great if his songs could do the same for you. That way, you can face your fears with a positive attitude. Yeah, you're right. Thanks. I was actually kind of on the fence about going. I mean, technically Mr. Golem doesn't exist anymore, but it might be fun if we go together. We still have some time before it starts, but we could go to the venue now. Yeah. Oh! Alright, let's go. So. Cool. Oh yeah, this is like the same stage. Man, just look at this crowd. That Tropico sure is popular. Huh? Ooh. Oh, there's the man of the hour himself. Hey, everyone. Welcome, and thank you for coming today. Let's have a great time together, all night long. But it's daytime! Now for the first song. In Search of Venus. And they gotta load all the assets again. <gasps> automaton emote. I always wanted an automaton, but I never got one. This song is so good. Man, this concert's really swinging. Pop music's a big hit with the crowd. Man, he really did go until nighttime. みんな楽しそうだね。お前は楽しくないのか。うん、楽しいよ。いい曲ばっかりだったし。でも、やっぱり。それじゃあ、最後の曲になります。今日は僕のコンサートに来てくれて、本当にありがとう。最後の曲は
song for you! Wild song for you! The booty shorts! いや、野生の宴だったな。僕、もう死んでもいい。それはマジで勘弁してくれ。あ、あの、とても感動しました。僕、ずっと不安で、今日は本当にありがとうございました。おう、治療を頑張れそうか。手術頑張ります。ゴーレムさんの歌を思い出して絶対に直してきます。また、ライブにも期待し。は、当たり前だ。こんなところでくたばってたらただじゃおかねえぞ。もっと俺様の曲を聞いてもらわねえとな。はい
that's gonna be it for me. Thank y'all very, very much for being here. I appreciate it. You're playing Yakuza. Why wouldn't we hear anime music? Oh, you want to hear more anime music? This is my favorite. Anyway. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Let me find somewhere to take y'all to. I too hear sad substory music when a good stream has to end. Aww. <laughs> Imagine I made my ending song that every time. It would get old very quickly. Anyway, uh, thank you all very much for being here. Whether you were chatting with me or lurking or whether you subscribed or not, I appreciate all y'all. And uh, there's my social media, most active on Twitter. Uh, but I will be back tomorrow at 9.30 p.m. Central Time with some more infinite wealth and we'll probably do the last couple sub stories there and some other stuff who knows who knows but we'll have some fun for sure but yeah uh that's gonna be it for me tonight y'all i will see y'all next time bye